As you know, it's been a while since we've hosted an Investor Day. I want you to know that we chose this time because we, the management and our board, believe City has crossed an inflection point. We're now clearly on a path towards growth and stronger returns. And today, we want to discuss where we are as a company, where we've come from, and what you can expect from us going forward. When I think of City, the word that comes to my mind is pride. I have to tell you how proud I am of the progress we've made and how we've executed through tough decisions in terms of our capital, our balance sheet, and our business model. We've been rebuilding our credibility, our relationships with our regulators, and very important, a culture that's based on ethics and execution. We've made important investments to streamline our infrastructure and to improve the client experience. We've invested in U.S. cards, focusing on our products, our rewards programs, technology infrastructure, and our partnership agreements. We've returned to growth in both Asia and Mexico consumer. We've extended our leadership in franchises such as Treasury and Trade Solutions and fixed income. And we've positioned ourselves for further share gains in equities, among other areas. This momentum it gives us confidence that we're now on a path towards steady improvements in returns from this point going forward. Our strategy is focused on executing in three areas. First, delivering sustainable client-led revenue growth by deepening our relationships with our existing clients. Second, using technology to enhance our capabilities and to lower our cost to serve so that we can bend the cost curve and deliver sustainable, positive operating leverage. And third, through the optimization of our capital base, including the return of all capital above the amount needed to prudently operate and to invest in our franchise. We believe the combination of growth continued expense discipline and credit discipline while leveraging technology will generate annual earnings in the range of $20 billion by 2020. An example of where we're harnessing technology to drive growth and client engagement is digital. The integration of new City Gold capabilities into our mobile app, which we rolled out last December, is a great example of how we're approaching the design and the delivery of technology projects. Digital is transforming our institutional business as well. We're among the first to offer online corporate banking on a global scale. Our mobile platform enables our clients to manage their daily treasury needs anywhere, anytime. And while the industry spends a lot of time talking about consumer applications of digital, the money movement on the corporate side is truly remarkable. There's no doubt that we've become a simpler, smaller, safer, and stronger institution over the last several years. Today, we're a bank. We're focused on serving our target clients in our two core franchises, our global consumer bank, and our institutional clients group. As we've streamlined the franchise over the last several years, we're also investing in our future. And it's this momentum that's going to define the next chapter of City. We're clearly the world's most global bank. But our goal is to be recognized as the world's leading bank and generating the net income and returns one would expect from a holder of that title. The path from here is actually very straightforward, centering on two themes. Our first execution priority is capital optimization, bringing our CET1 ratio down to that 11.5% target level continuing to utilize the DTA in the amount of around $2 billion per year, and returning to our shareholders any capital above the amount we need to invest in the franchise. We believe these actions would add roughly 120 basis points to our returns by 2020. Our second key theme is to improve returns on the capital deployed in our operating businesses, generating consistent, high-quality earnings in line with our strategy and target client segments. And we're committed to demonstrating consistent, steady improvement in returns going forward. We come to market today with a far stronger set of products and digital capabilities 
than ever before. And this creates a strong foundation from which to grow. Our path forward has got multiple engines with every business in every region contributing to earnings growth. We're better positioned than we ever have been before in the markets and in the businesses that are critical to drive this growth. We have strong franchises in growing marketplaces. We have an attractive client base and a compelling set of global capabilities that differentiate us from our local peers. We're massively accelerating our digital capabilities and our speed to market with new functionality. Day-to-day -day engagement with our clients is rapidly shifting to digital and mobile. Our capabilities are mapped against specific client journeys to eliminate pain points and make the digital experience simpler, faster and better for our customers. Our goal is to acquire, engage and service our clients entirely digitally. We at City have a lighter physical footprint and this positions us very well for where the world is going. And over the past year, we've returned the business to top line growth. We expect this growth to accelerate as our investments continue to mature and this puts us on a clear path to delivering a 19% return by 2020 and potentially beyond that in the longer term. Our clients are voting with their wallets. 85% of those customers who said their new city card would be their primary card came from another issuer, the highest in the industry. And as shown on the right, once we acquire a new client, we continue to drive strong engagement. Global Cards is a business that has generated about $19 billion of revenue for a city over the past year. And we see a clear path to 21 billion range driven by client acquisitions, growth in wallet share, and opportunities around new partner distribution and capabilities. I'll also point out, it's a business that delivers impressive operating efficiency, strong returns, and will be essential to building the city brand. We are a leader in the global marketplace with a balance of revenue across banking and markets. Our global network is what's driving our momentum in our business today. We believe this network, built over the course of our 200 year history and present in 98 markets, cannot be easily replicated by any of our peers in today's environment. We believe we are uniquely positioned to deliver attractive, sustainable returns with an unparalleled global reach and a diverse set of products to serve the growing needs of our clients. Now, I'd like to spend some time on each one of our businesses, starting with TTS. Our TTS franchise is the leader in working capital management, global cash management, and trade finance services to multinational corporations, financial institutions, and public sector organizations. TTS is also a tremendous source of high quality corporate deposits. Having grown 8% annually since 2012, to over $400 billion today. Turning to fixed income, which is our single largest business segment within ICG and a true leader in the global marketplace, where we have continued to consolidate share as others have retrenched. We've improved or maintained our rank in all of our FIC businesses over the last several years. And in 2016, we enjoyed a top three position in all of our businesses. Turning to our equities business, we believe it is positioned to grow after recent pressure on the revenue pool across the industry. Over the last couple of years, we've made investments in people, making key hires in management, sales, and research, in technology, improving our internal and client-facing platforms, and in balance sheet. In investment banking, our goal is to be a trusted advisor to the world's largest and most global firms. To this end, we have demonstrated 5% revenue growth since 2012, which outpaced the target market wallet growth over that same period. In security services, we provide security settlement, clearing, custody, and asset servicing to institutional clients in 63 markets. 
the largest direct custody and clearing footprint among our peers. And finally, turning to our private bank. Our organizational model differs from many of our peers. As we include our private bank as part of our institutional business, rather than a separate wealth management division. This integrated approach has led to continued strength in new client acquisitions, as well as the deepening of our client relationships, resulting in diversification across our revenues and steady growth in loans, deposits, and assets under management, and annual revenue growth of 4% since 2012. Our strategy was developed with our proprietary network in mind, dedicating our resources to clients who truly value our global capabilities. And over the last several years, we have rationalized our client base, going from over 32,000 clients to just under 14,000, improving the focus and intensity of our coverage efforts on those clients that can most benefit from who we are and what we are. And with our geographic footprint and full product spectrum, we are uniquely positioned to serve them. Now, we're intent on delivering client-red growth improving our capabilities through technology while reducing our costs and optimizing our capital base. We're firmly on track to improve the return of and the return on capital. And achieving these twin goals, it drives everything we do. I also, as we go through this, hope that our track record of delivering the progress that we've outlined gives you confidence that we're going to do what we say we're going to do. And I can tell you this about this franchise, that when we set our sights on something, we don't stop until we deliver. Thank you very much.